Growing tomatoes and collecting seeds and knowing when I'm growing. This is my tomato project on a certain type of tomato I bought. And ordering the seeds, growing the seeds since March and planting them out in June with you. What do you think? Was this a success or was it a failure? Let's put it this way. I won't do it again. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. I'm gonna do an update on my tomato project. So what am I gonna call this? I could call it a bust, I could call it a failure, I could call it a lot of different things, but you know what? I had no idea what a rosy finch tomato was, I didn't know if it was going to work for me, and I'm going to have to say, for me, it could be my climate, not necessarily my soil, it could be a lot of different things, it's just not my cup of tea. Let's take a look at what was going on and I'll show you why I don't like it. I'm gonna open up my cover, which worked quite well, until I kind of lost interest and let it stay open a little bit sometimes. The plants don't generally do that good in our climate. It may be too hot, too dry. It's hard to say, let's look at this one. That's a cutting and that's okay. That was small and it's starting to grow. This one, something attacked it big time. Like, I don't know what, I don't see a hornworm on it, but it could be any type of caterpillar. But it never really grew that well. Now this plant, and this is all from the same seeds or cuttings, it grew really big through all these tomatoes, and I have yet to taste one. Let me see. Oh, that one's soft. Let me take a look. Let's take a look at it. I'm not thrilled with it. And it, oh, it looks nice and juicy. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Now my mouth is full. Not a lot of flavor. A lot of water in it. Very good. You can see the plant is, is gone. They call it a semi-determinate, but I'm going to have to say it looks very determinate to me, doesn't it? They got all their tomatoes and the plant just disappeared. Now here, we've got some marigolds and some other flowers coming over here. This one is still working on its fruit, see, and it's loaded. I mean, I will say it's got a lot of fruit and it needs a good trimming. And here's more fruit here. The point is, look how small it is. It's a really small tomato plant. Now I know they said that. Only stands about 12 inches, maybe a little bit bigger. But I can see that once it sets fruit, it acts more like a very determinate plant, completely dies back, at least for me. You may grow it and you may find something else completely different with it. I get far more tomatoes out of a sun gold or a regular cherry tomato than I can see I ever will on that. And on top of that, the plant's got to grow to a certain size. And then what it's got to do is throw the flowers and then it's got to pollinate, which it did very well with the wind pollination in here. It was completely covered. And then once it throws its fruit, are they all going to die back? That one did. This one never did that well. It struggled so bad, something ate it. And then this one here, sit down here for a minute, is still a small plant. Now this came up from seed, and there's been a couple caterpillars because I left it open. Same thing, you know, I showed you. It's growing its fruit like the other one. And then it's going to die back. It's a very compact Go, go. It's a, it's a very compact uh, plant, but as far as production, is it good for a patio, a very small patio? Yeah, I can see you can plant that in a really small pot. This is actually to put leaves in, so let's say this leaf was full of bugs. I can put it in there, water this, and it, it creates its own compost. Here's, here's what it's called, and that was my Rosie Finch project. This is a tote lid, by the way. I'll just leave that there right now. So I would say for me, it's a waste of time. Even for a deck, a patio, a balcony, you can still grow cherry tomatoes. You would get a larger plant, you would shape it to the size that you want. It will continue to grow tomatoes and it tends to grow tomatoes a lot quicker, a plain old regular cherry tomato. This has to grow its plant like a determinate plant tomato. Then it throws its flowers, then it throws its fruit, and then once it throws all its fruit, it's kind of done. So you're getting all your tomatoes at one time, and you're not gonna can those. 
sure wouldn't be worth it to me, I don't think. They're very small. So for me, I would say, if I was suggesting to anybody, I would say get a good old fashioned cherry tomato of your liking, put it in a pot, and if you have a really small deck or balcony and you want to grow it, you know, in a small area, trim it. Trim it to the size you want, put a tomato cage around it. This is irrigation tubing. You could do whatever way you want. And then you will have tomatoes right from the get-go because when you plant a cherry tomato, you get tomatoes right away. The plant will be real small and it will start to grow, but it will still be throwing tomatoes at the base and then they'll have the side shoots come out and you'll be getting tomatoes constantly for months. This one grew and we all waited for it. Now we have tomatoes and it's kind of done and fizzled out. So the reason I wanted to do this update on this is I think I'm going to start planting other things in here that I want. Maybe for fall gar gardening. I can yank out that tomato right now. I'm not going to keep the seeds. If they come up as volunteers and something grows really good, that would be fine. But my volunteers that grow do fantastic here. They love the soil, the climate, everything about it. And I end up with tons of tomatoes constantly for months. A lot of them go into the winter. That's not going to go into the winter. Not for me. So here I'm going to maybe plant this, a squash in there, a zucchini. Maybe I'll just push some seeds in there and let them do its thing. I'll leave the rest because this one is still, you know, growing. And that one back here behind the marigold is growing. But this one, I can lift that pot out because that is in a pot. And I don't think the roots went that far down. And I can put something else in a big pot there and maybe maybe a different type of tomato that will grow all winter here and I can protect it or something else. Cucumbers I can grow in here. So my outlook on rosy finch tomatoes, they're nice for somebody that wants something really small, that wants to sit and wait for their tomatoes. And once the tomatoes are done, if there's a possibility your plant is done. And my outlook would be, like I said, Get a good old fashioned cherry tomato. Sun golds are wonderful. I will say that sun golds for me here in Southern California are a little temperamental. So once the weather cools down in the late fall, early winter, I've noticed they kind of fizzle out and they don't make it throughout the year. But the cherry tomatoes, especially the volunteers that I plant, a lot of them will continue to grow all through the winter unless we're hit with freezing, which we did get into the low 30s. We lost a lot of our tomato plants. That's different, but you know, if you're growing it on a balcony, you can wrap it in plastic. You saw me do it with shower curtains and that saved a lot of plants. This one, I don't think I can save it no matter what, at least not the way it grows here. So you tell me what you think. Have you ever tried rosy finch? Are you gonna bother? Am I gonna grow them next year? Not purposely, no. And if I did grow any of the seeds I have left, I would not cater to it, cover it, and go through all this. I'll cover this maybe with lettuce. Oh, I'll put some lettuce in here. I'll put maybe a cabbage in here or two and cover it up good and not let the cabbage moths get in there. Something like that. Something I really want because for this, for me, nah. So Rosie Finch is kind of a bust. On a scale of one to five, I'm going to have to give the Rosie Finch for me a one. So that is my outlook on that. Plant is nice, I have nothing against it. But what I don't like is how slow I get production and food out of it compared to so many other tomato plants. So with that, have a wonderful day. Tell me your thoughts, tell me what you think. And well, tell me if you ever grew it and what you like about it. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And yeah, I'll eat them. Oh, they're not gonna go to waste. I'll take them in and make a salad with my beautiful cucumbers that I'm growing, but not real thrilled with the plant itself. As she squeezes the tomato into the soil and now they're gonna come up, who knows? Maybe the ones that come up will be better than the original seeds I planted. And sometimes that happens too. Bye-bye. Hmm. No bite to them. Almost on the sweet side, but not quite. Flavors okay. One to five, oh, two and a half, three.